What's up everybody? It's your boy Wes Grant and you're watching Sub Urban Nerdist channel where I get my nerd views on today's nerd news and uh, yeah I know it's been a long long time since I've done something and I'm sorry I'm sorry but I've, I've been what you call I've been working on a little I'm not gonna say project but I, I've mentioned in other videos that I've been drawing and I've been trying to focus more on my drawings because I'm trying to get this book published out before the end of the year and I've, I just want to update all the images and I'll probably upload a video that's showing all the um, all, all the art that I've done in the past few weeks so um, but yeah today's video is going to be like it says in the title the PS5 live streaming event and my reaction to it so um, I didn't I didn't live stream or whatever what I was doing I was just watching because I was actually watching another streamer uh, doing his but um, yeah a lot of things that I liked. Some things were kind of questionable. The design of the PS5 is wow. It is something else, you know. As opposed to, <laughs> like you got you got both specs and you got the the Xbox Series X looking all squarish and plain as hell, and you got the PS5 looking like something out of like a spaceship. Like it looks like it's about to float off of like the console's about to float off and go somewhere and abduct a kid or something. Uh, as far as aliens, you know. But um. Yeah, I'm gonna go down the list of the games that kind of caught my interest, and then the you know the really ones that really caught my interest. So, right off the top, you have this uh, Project Athea, right? And Project Athea looks it's what's uh, made by the company Luminescent or something like that. It looks like the 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 video that they showed like a couple weeks ago of the of the PS5's power. Like this looks like the demo that they showed of the mystical lady where at the end she jumps off the cliff, dives and glides and runs across the thing. This looks like that. So like I was saying that couldn't that be a game and it looks like that might be what that demo was built off of. This game right here, Project Lathea, it looks very interesting. I think I might be really interested and actually get it, right? Next, of course, the Spider-Man game, right? Spider-Man 4. Everyone's been like, yo, when's Spider-Man 2 coming out? We want the Spider-Man 2. I want the Spider-Man 2. Getting 100%, all the DLC, that's what I do. Yes, and we're all waiting for this. And we got something a little bit different. Because we all love that movie, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, with Miles Morales. And Miles Morales is blowing up more and more like than, than he's ever done before, right? And I've been watching, actually, the, uh, the, 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 what's it, the Ultimate Spider-Man. I've watched it straight through that. Uh, I was watching the, uh, I've already saw Spectacular Spider-Man. I'm watching the other new Spider-Man series that they had on um, C X Disney XD. And Miles is really predominant. He's really coming up in this thing. They're showing him a lot. And that's what it is. This is Spider-Man Miles Morales. And I didn't know I wanted this so bad because it has this, it looks like it has the same style of Spider-Man to Spider-Verse, but yet it's still got the combat and, you know, the action, sort of like the Spider-Man PS4 game. And hey, it, it, it's like, you got chocolate on my peanut butter. You got peanut butter on my chocolate. Mm, somehow it works. Yeah, it's like, what do you expect? This, it's, Miles Morales is Spider-Man. So it's gonna it's gonna work flawlessly, you know? Especially with the styles, even the neons, the way they have in the, in, in, in the demo that they showed, it looks sort of like Into the Spider-Verse. But I'm definitely down for that, right? The next one that's kind of different, that I wasn't sure about, but it, it looks interesting, right? It's called a Destruction All-Star, right? And I was like, oh, is this Destruction Derby? Are they bringing that back? Which I would love for them to bring Destruction Derby back in the new graphics that they got. I would just love that, right? Um, but no, it's like it's like Destruction Derby meets, meets like Monster Ball, like roller, roller derby kind of thing, where these people are just running. I don't even know what the premise is. I just know there's a, and, and like a death race too. It's like, it's like all that amalgamation all rolled into one because it's like you see the people, uh, you see, the cars driving and smash each other. I'm like, okay, that's that's a concept. Then you see people running on the court and then jumping over the cars right before they crash and then leading them to like these traps on the courses that just chop cars in half. And then the other cars get like power ups and get blazed and go slice cars in half and then crash. Meanwhile, these people can jump and grab onto. I, I don't know what's going on, but it looks batshit crazy. Like um, I th there's that game um, Rocket Ball, I believe, where, where the cars drive and hit the thing. I don't think it's anything like that, but it looks sort of like that as far as the arena kind of feel and vibe to it so we'll see how that works out I'm, I'm kind of interested but we'll see right next we've got this thing this move this this game called Ghostwire right and um, I don't know if you ever played fear but it's like fear on crack with neon and like uh, what was what was good in, in, the insomnia game 
uh, Second Second Son, one with the light. In, uh, infamous, right? Infamous, yeah. It looks sort of like the going around action, neon colors, infamous, but with fear, and then you got ghosts that come up and you, you're ripping them apart, and it's, it looks really crazy, and I'm really interested in seeing what's going on with it. Graphically, that, that game looks amazing, but we'll see how that works, because we all want, like, what's, what, what was that game again? Um, the one with the, the uh, I think it was the PlayStation, or was it the Nintendo 64, where you just took pictures, and then that's how you got rid of the ghosts? We want that redone. In fact, put that on VR. That's what I want to see. If you guys know what I'm talking about, comment down below because I can't remember the name off the top of my head, but that's that's a game that they need to put on VR with the camera and they're taking a picture. That's really what y'all need to do. Get on that. Anyways, the next one we got Godfall. We all have seen Godfall. Godfall looks good. It's like a hack and slasher action. You know, like, you know, warrior, you got this armor, power-ups. I don't know. if It's not so much like Don Des um, Destiny Warriors. But it's like, it's sort of still like a kind of hack and slash, but one on one, one on two. Uh, it's hard for me to kind of explain how this is. Demo looks okay. The, the graphics is really good, but I don't know if I'm going to be really jumping on that. You know, I've seen so many games like uh, try and do that, but just kind of just fall short and just doesn't catch on with people. But I don't really catch a little interest to that that much. So go on to the next one. Next one was, uh, it's called Solar Ash, right? And this game looks beautiful. The coloring. The, like the running, the floating, just like everything, and th this looks like uh, Okami. I, I think it was like Okami with the dog, whatever. It looks like that, or, but the style of um, the, the 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 new Zelda game. I'm I'm not sure like what this thing is exactly, but it looks very beautiful. It looks like a game that's like you know like an indie game that's just really artsy. Just you want to you kind of want to just enjoy the environment. In it. So. I'm definitely down to check that out, maybe, you know, like, depends on how much it is, you know, download that, but we'll see. Next we've got, sorry for the, you know, like, it's rush hour time right now, but next we got Hitman 3. Hitman 3, you don't know how beautiful and how intricate Hitman game is. The Hitman 2 game, they have all these contractions, like, if, I've been watching this, this dude, I forget his name, um, Center Strain 01, right? He plays this game to the max. And he tries to keep on making it even harder for himself. But this game looks beautiful. The amount of different things you can touch, things you can do, ways you can kill people. And then this one looks like they're straight up taking that scene from that, uh, uh, I forget what that movie is with the Mission Impossible. I forget which one it was. There's the one where Tom Cruise is climbing up the side of Dubai. That's what the dude is doing. That's what Hitman, uh, you know, Hitman 47, that's what he's doing in the trailer. So. I'm definitely looking forward to seeing all the different crazy places this guy's going to be going, the, the different types of ways they're going to be having to kill people, knocking people out. I want to see him knock someone off that building in Dubai, because that just this seems crazy. Like, I want to see all the different ways he can do to take out people. And it's, it looks like fun, right? Um, next, we've got Demon Soul. Demon Soul, everybody's been checking out for Demon Soul. I've never been a huge Demon Soul fan. Never really played it. I know, I'm not trying to throw my card, but that's not the type of game I play. I don't like to torture myself like that. Sometimes I don't have time like that to be investing. I bought a game that I love, St. Rose 3 Remastered. I played half an hour. I haven't touched it. Why? Because I'm so focused on drawing. I don't have time to put into games like I used to. And Demon Soul is just a nightmare for me because I will just spend all this time just trying to get past one freaking level. I'm sorry, I, I, I can't, I can't, I can't give that much time to that. But it looks gorgeous. I ain't gonna front, Demon Souls looks gorgeous. Uh, like, Demon Souls changed the game as far as like the combat, like the way combat is with um, Bloodborne, all these games, even even the the, la the new Jedi game, uh, Fallen, Fallen Order, like that, like the combat is sort of derived from what they did with Demon Souls. That's, that's why everybody loves this thing. So I'm, I'm happy, everybody's gonna be happy and get this finally, but you know, we'll see. Next, we've got Resident Evil 8, which it made a huge comeback. I was telling someone, huge comeback with uh, Bioware, with uh, Resident Evil 7, and then Resident Evil 2 Remake, and then Resident Evil 3 Remake, which isn't as good as Resident Evil 2 Remake, and everyone's talking about a Resident Evil 4 Remake that they're gonna do, but I'm, I'm, I'm glad that they kinda kind of stuck with it and they went to a Resident Evil 8 where the graphics looks amazing looks creepy as hell Chris Redfield he's he's showing up at the end double tap you know what I'm saying make sure these zombies is dead and yeah I'm looking forward to watching that and seeing that how, the, how that plays out you know um, then we've got a game from Capcom Capcom you know it's crazy they always have the weird things and this one's called Pro Pragmata 
And it's weird. You got the space, you got the spacesuit guy, and then this little girl who I think is like a, like a computer or something, because she's materializing things and making like, like what's it called, like weapons, something for the guy, and they shooting in the space, and then somehow they're on the moon. It seems batshit crazy, but it looks interesting as hell. I don't know. I, I sort of liked what they were doing with Death Stranding, but it's basically like a, a delivery man simulator. That's what Death Stranding was. I hope this isn't like that, but it looks very interesting. Can't wait to see it. And last of all, last of all, the one thing that I definitely was waiting for, this is what I was waiting for, and it is the Horizon 2 Forbidden West. I can't wait. I played the crap out of the, the link. I, I bought it wait after they had the dlc and it was included in it with the winter part yo horizon zero dawn it's amazing and then how they played it off where even if you got the armor that heals everything when you go to the, when you go to the um the the addition with the winter they have these things that pulses that makes it so it doesn't reheal so i loved how they made it so you, it isn't as simple as oh you can just take all these hits and you got to work with it even with this um jacked up armor like you know souped up armor and i definitely love it can't wait to see the environments they have her going into the deserts jungles all these different new places i can't wait to play it and that's what i'm saying I, but the one game that i i want playstation 5 to jump on and this is just my my hope is Split Second. Split Second is an amazing game. I don't know if any of you know what Split Second is. Split Second is like one of the best racing games that nobody knows about. You can destroy the environment, you drive, it's like it's like it's like a game show like Death Race, but it's just so amazing. And if they if they up this I'd be happy if they just up the graphics, you know, bring the same game, just up the graphics for for the PS5. But I would love for them to have a second one. It was made by Disney of all people, anyways. So I don't know if they're ever gonna do that, but like I said, the top games for me. That they showcased was the Spider-Man Miles Morales, the um, how do you say the God uh, Ghostwire Tokyo, and probably the Horizon Zero Dawn's my 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 three my three that I'm taking that I wanna I wanna actually maybe probably get this those games well I'm definitely getting this Horizon Zero Dawn you know what I'm saying and Project Athens too but I said I got to see a little bit more of it and see how that works but I'm definitely looking forward to that one but. Thank you. That's my opinion on, all, on on the games. I didn't tell all the games, but these are the ones that really caught my eye. And hopefully, they you guys can talk about it too. So if anything, just comment down below. Tell me what you thought about the game. If you and also the PS5. Like I said, it looks like it's crazy. But tell me what you think about the PS5. Thank you for watching my video. Remember, I'm Wes Kent. You've been watching Sub Urban Nerd, and remember, you just got notified. Catch you guys on the next video. We'll be soon too.